Hey, Tai here, so welcome to the VR Tech channel. And this video is gonna be a little different from usual because as you might know, or probably you don't because I probably never said that, I'm really passionate about space and well, probably this is not the right t-shirt to show it. Give me a second. Okay, this is not iron, but anyway, after the launch of the Crew Dragon Demo 2, that we had just three days ago. Well, I got really nostalgic about the ISS, the International Space Station, and I really wanted to just uh, go around back there. And well, the nice thing is that with VR, there's an application that you can actually explore the space station. And there's also a simulator of the spacewalk that is very interesting from BBC. So I wanted just to take you with me, just rediscovering the ISS, doing a little tour because I'm really a nerd about it. And and uh, yeah, let's do it together, right? Let's get into it. Okay, so here we are. This is the International Space Station, the ISS. And we are on Mission ISS. This is created by Oculus Studios. I am using the Rift S right now because I tried to record before uh, with the Valve Index. But uh, unfortunately, I had problems recording because by the way, it works perfectly with Revive. So every headset you have, don't worry, you can use it. It's totally free and you can explore this massive, uh, big as a football field space station. But let's get into it and from the cupola, I guess. And here we are in the International Space Station. And that's pretty cool because it's of course one by one. So it's exactly as big as it should be. And to start, well, uh, this, I think, is the edge where uh, the last, like, uh, Crew Dragon actually arrived. So, uh, well, you can see over here that there are some badges from all the different uh, space shuttles that arrived and attached in this edge over here. And I'm pretty sure it's that one. But let's start to explore everything because this is the Japanese node of the space station that is actually the biggest part, the biggest node in the space station this is a, a lab where they do different experiments and over here uh, besides some uh, very cool objects uh, they have a airlock so uh, they can put stuff out from here and put them directly in space for different experiments they actually don't use this for people because it's smaller oh, look at the view by the way wow and uh, those are the solar panel that give energy to everything so Pretty cool indeed. And up here there's also a storage unit directly for this node. It's pretty cool. If you have some luggage, well, you know where to put them. Let's go down. Microgravity is pretty cool. Uh, you can uh, grab everything, of course. And you can actually, if you want to turn everything, because here, of course, the space station works in like 360 degrees because uh, you can, of course, put stuff on the ceiling as well because there's no really ceiling when there's no gravity. Uh, you can just grab with two hands and rotate the entire world. This is pretty cool, but if you're prone to motion sickness, well, don't do it. Uh, just a little suggestion over there. So this is the other note. This is from the uh, ESA, the European Space Agency. And that's where they do most of their researches for like healthcare and stuff. Uh, there's, a, for example, a 3D printer uh, to print organs. That is pretty cool. This is a glove box to do experiments. And this is uh, one of the latest machinery that they put on to study the atrophy of uh, bones and muscles uh, where uh, when you stay in space for too long. Because, of course, if we want to explore space and go to Mars, uh, we need to understand what happens to the human body. So uh, this is the connection to Oh, 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 sorry. <laughs> this is the connection to the NASA parts, uh, the NASA lab. Uh, that is one of the biggest as well. But we stop here a second because these are the bad. I, I don't know why they're so small. I don't think this is, I think they're actually a little bigger. Uh, but well, inside there, you, they actually sleep. They get inside, they open the door, get inside and get some sleep. As you can see there, four. Uh, one top, one of the bottom, uh, left and right, but well, really there's no left and right <laughs> over here. Let's keep going. Uh, I'm sorry if the frame rate is gonna go down, usually happens in this part, that's why I had to record uh, once more than expected. Let me turn, and as we said, this is the 
uh, NASA lab, so the US part of the lab. And this is what they say the best window to take pictures out of it for like the quality of the glass of the lens because uh, that's actually the coolest place to take picture from. This is pretty cool. I have no idea where we are at right now. Uh, we are gonna see a little later. But yeah, let's keep going. Uh, this is like for, to use the robots and stuff, like the Canadian robots that they use to, to get cargo uh, that arrives over here with different shapes. And well, some lenses. I wish I could take one of these for my videos. <laughs> Uh, let's keep going because this is my favorite part, of course, not because it's the kitchen, because of course here they eat everything and stuff. There's the table we're going to see in a second, but for what's over there and for what is over there at the same time. Now, down here is closed, but it's like a big storage unit or probably it's up there. I don't remember, uh, but well, this is the table. Why a table in space when there's no gravity? Uh, well, they said to create a community because at the end of the day you stay here for uh, pretty long uh, with people like months with the same people. It could get a little crazy. But look at all these badges. Oh my God. Challenger, Columbia. Oh my God. The space shuttle was so cool. Um, but yeah, there's the food. There's the ketchup. If you want some ketchup and stuff. I don't think they use ketchup and stuff, but uh, not in that form by the way, but uh, the, the cool thing is like they actually have Velcro on everything so they can stick it on the table and uh, doesn't go everywhere uh, because of the gravity. Over there, uh, I think there's the connection to the Russian part of the ISS. I don't know why they didn't do it in this application, but well, we're, there's just half of the space station actually this half and that, that part over there. Now over here, uh, this module, the Node 3, uh, was created in Italy, uh, built in Italy, not created, I mean, pretty much the same. Uh, and uh, here where they do different workouts, this is the treadmill, pretty cool. And this is the bathroom, super cool. Uh, I mean, as cool as can be a bathroom. Uh, this is gonna, um, yes, and uh, this is for uh, the art part. This is so tiny, like, I mean, you really need to... <laughs> You'll have a good aim to use that. <laughs> Let's keep going because this is another workout uh, uh, thing to use. And this is my favorite part, probably. And there's the cupola uh, where they have like the biggest window in the International Space Station. Here they also command the, the Canadian robot, uh, that, as we said. But yeah, look at this. Look at the view. It's Awesome. Awesome. That's the robot arm. And yeah, that's the cargo thing we were talking about. That's the biggest like cargo module always there. But where are we? Let me see. Hmm. Where are we? There's some stuff. There's a long thing. I no idea. I can't really recognize it right now. Let me know if you know where we are. Because, I mean, it's, it looks interesting, but... Oh, oh my God. I'm, I'm so stupid. This is Italy. Yes, that's Italy. That's Sardinia. That's... Yeah. Wow. So, yeah, we are in Europe. Above Europe. <laughs> that's pretty cool. Okay. So let's keep going. Last part of the tour uh, is one of the most interesting, but unfortunately not in this app. We're gonna have to switch to another app to do that because this is uh, the temple of the, uh, I mean, uh, spacewalk. That's where the astronauts go out uh, through their airlock over there. They prepare the, the super, super badass suits over here. Uh, they get in the suits and then they, jump in space for different experiments and stuff. Here is pretty loud because they use this thing to suck out the air and put it back in the International Space Station because of course you don't want to uh, like use air for nothing. That's pretty precious uh, when you are outside like uh, hurt. And yeah, dee -dee -dee -dee. again they get ready. But as I said, unfortunately we can't use this app to go outside 
but there's another app for it it's called bbc home and well we can get inside these guys and go out there to explore a little better let's get into it okay so here we are in the airlock that we were seeing before oh wow we are in the suit okay this is more like an experience i think we can drag ourselves It's hard to get. Okay. Alright. Okay, so this is like probably like the weirdest application to use if you suffer motion sickness because they make you do some weird movements really like up and down they took a lot but here we are outside this is soja uh so yeah i don't know how to say it but, but that's the uh russian uh probes that they use till now for years and another one, so they're both attached right now. Look how beautiful. Hey, newbie. Great you could join me. Let me pull down those shades for you. Oh, all right. Hello. Yeah, need a bit of sunblock up here. I'm sticking with you till we get to the arm. We figured you might need some company for the first section. We're headed just over this way. And they turn you around again. Pretty weird. I gotta tell Reach you. Reach out in front of you and grab those yellow railings. Oh Remember, my god. Pull the trigger on the hand oh. to grip and pull yourself forward. Even for me this is weird. <laughs> Reach up to the handle on your right. Don't worry. It'll all get a lot easier on the arm. Whoa. Oh, this is so cool. <laughs> what is the Canadian arm that we were talking about? Here she is. Yeah, we'll let the crane take the strain. Oh, you drag yourself all the way over on your own, right? Oop. This is so awesome. We'll snap you into the foot restraint once you're in place. Head towards the T-bar and grab on. Well, that's Italy again. See, we probably moved okay, a little from there. <laughs> okay, this is pretty cool. Look at this. Wow. Wow. But yeah guys i don't want to spoil everything uh it, this is like an experience to try they're both free so don't worry just jump in and Ready try them uh probably this one is uh, a little more rough when it comes to motion sickness so uh just uh take like uh, your precaution like uh, put, put a fan in front of you and stuff but this is pretty cool indeed uh it's an awesome experience and having this view well, something that just in vr you can actually try so sunset in 10 seconds turning on iss lights and with the sunset we Rush say goodbye nice landing station and here you have it guys i hope you guys enjoyed the tour of the international space station with me and uh a new video tomorrow but for now as always if you liked the video like if you didn't like the video dislike subscribe to the channel for more about vr tech and this kind of videos as well uh, some nerdy stuff for sure uh, if you really love the channel you want to support over here well there's a join button down there and you can join all these super nice people over here or uh, there's also the t-shirts like the back to vr t-shirt the sticker and also the one with the logo over there so check them out for sure in this store down below but that's all for guys so again like dislike subscribe and i see you guys next time thanks for watching ciao